Why are people still listening to Bill Burr in 2024? Let's find out. This channel is all about honor and legends and also finding out new things. Recently, I got put onto Bill Burr, um, and it was actually a great experience. Uh, I have not been a Bill Burr fan for long, so this is all a new journey for me. A little backstory, I'm from the East Coast, and I've been a closed-minded person. I'm not afraid to admit it. This has been a good journey. I've been learning about a new things, new comedians, you know, new things and new cultures. On this Bill Burr reaction, he has one called White Guilt. Why do you guys like Bill Burr? Let me know in the comments. Have you ever been to a show with Bill Burr? And just ultimately, why are you, you know, into his type of comedy? All right. The last video that we did, I asked for 500 and I got it to 3,000 likes. Let's go for 3,500 likes on this one. I'll make sure y'all drop y'all city in the comments. And without further ado, let's get into this reaction. That movie uh, Pride recently. Have you guys seen I don't know. I rented that movie, uh, Pride, recently. Have you guys seen that movie? Anybody see that? It's about the first all-black swim team and the difficulties they had to go through being the first all-black swim team. Let me ask you a question. How many of those white people are evil movies are they going to make? <laughs> it's like it's all the way down to swimming. <laughs> you know? I'm starting to run out of white guilt, you know? No, it's like those movies, they started off unbelievable. Started off with Roots, right? White guilt was at an all-time high. I could barely oh. even watch it. I'm like, dude, I got it. My ancestors are evil. Okay, please. Please turn the channel, dude. Please turn the channel. Quick question. I like what Bill Burr just did, and I want to know from you guys. Honestly, just as a culture question. Do you feel the sense of, like, white guilt like he's talking about when, like, something like a slave movie comes on or anything? Um, just be honest. Like, I'm all about honesty on this channel. We're a big family here, you know. Uh, so just let me know, honestly, do you actually get that feeling? I could barely even watch it. I'm like, dude, I got it. My ancestors are evil. Okay, please. Please turn the channel, dude. Please turn the channel. They still hitting them. Fuck, turn the channel. <laughs> this is going to be on all week. Jesus Christ, turn the channel. Roots long as hell, boy. In the 80s, there was like a football movie. Then like Cuba Gooding wanted to be like a scuba diver. Remember that shit? <laughs> and now... It's all the way down to swimming, and I gotta admit, I don't think I give a fuck. <laughs> you know? I'm not trying to be a dick, but it's a recreational activity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Plus, I've been in pools. There's been black people in the pool. You know, I never saw any white guy like trying to like fucking like prevent people from getting into the pool. <laughs> I don't think there's like a colored section for pools in 2024. I feel what he's saying, but you can't be offended, man. Plus, I've been in pools. There's been black people in the pool, you know? I never saw any white guy, like, trying to, like, fucking, like, prevent people from getting into the pool. It's like, are they just, like, making this shit up? I'm not, I'm not being a dick here either, okay? Being just honest. To clarify, you know, I just want to... Anybody? Yo, if you offended, if you get offended by anything Bill Burr says, just please unfollow this channel. We do not get offended over here. We want everybody to be offended. And if you are, at least explain why so we can laugh at you. Coming up to me after the show, like, you know, I was thinking it, and then you fucking said it. And then... <laughs> I'm not saying that I don't think black shit people should be allowed to put on some Speedos and go for a dip. I'm not saying that shit. I'm just saying <laughs> these movies, like the characters aren't even believable. Like, they always have to have, like, that, the, the over-the-top, uninhibited white racist character, you know? You know that guy? He's a guy, like, uh, he's supposed to represent all the white evil, you know? Uh, he's like the dude yeah. they always have, like, screaming during the movie trailer. They'd be like, they were the first all-black swim team. Get out of the pool! <laughs> he's got, like, a big vein in his forehead. He's just screaming shit. He's not even looking around, you know? <laughs> dude, it's ridiculous. Real racism is quiet. <laughs> it's subtle. People look around first. Make yeah. sure the, it's true. You know, they make sure the coast is clear. It's true. There's disclaimers. Like, dude, you know I'm not racist, but uh, these insert group name followed by fucked up conversation, right? Yeah. That's how it goes down. Yeah. I think that everybody might have a bit of uh, mild racism to an extent because of their past. I don't care who you are. You know, I think everybody just as a whole has a sense of you know, mild racism. It just depends on where you came from. 
It could be from any situation, you know, and I think that if you don't accept that, then you really are ignorant. But if you accept it, it's you being a human. All right. Write human in the comments if you can agree. Some people don't know nothing about culture, black culture, white, uh, Caucasian culture, Spanish culture, Asian culture. So they just don't know. And if you don't know, I mean, I think it's smart for you to find out. You know what I mean? But if you don't know, you just don't know. And I think that's kind of the culture that we're in, the society that we're in right now where, you know, even to be racist, you're being racist because it's, it's being ignorant. You don't, you're, you're refusing to learn about somebody else. You know what I mean? So don't be ignorant. Learn. That's how it goes down. Dude, you know I'm not racist, but uh, these insert group name followed by fucked up conversation, right? Yeah. That's how it goes down. Not just some guy. Just standing up there. There's Negroes in the pool. <laughs> you approve of this? I work at the bank. Can I be fired immediately, please? <laughs> he said there's Negroes saying, in the pool. Just make the shit. He said there's Negroes in the pool. <laughs> like, believable? You know, the honest thing is, in those movies, they're starting to give me a complex. Oh. You know, because anytime they do a movie about a group of people that thinks dumb shit about another group of people, it's always mm. like white dudes. So it's like, are white dudes the only ones who think ignorant shit about other people, you know? No Mexican guy ever walked up to somebody from India like, dude, what the fuck is that? Is that like itchy? Is that fuck you? What is it? White dudes the only ones walking around. Well, you guys don't eat cows? What are you, a bunch of fags? Well, then why are you wearing sandals? This guy's wearing sandals. This guy's a fag. <laughs> Oh, man. Just balance the movies out a little bit. Like, just have some of the evil shit that black people say about white people, you know, when, when we're not around, you know? Like, like, well, what are some good examples, you know? <laughs> you know like, Yo, he's right, though, bro. People talk about a lot of things when nobody's around. I mean, let's just be honest, honest about it. I mean, even you guys in the comments, I know we just connected right now, but be realistic, bro. There's things that come up that you talk about. I like people to be honest and don't base it on a whole race, base it off of a situation. You know what I'm saying? Because you have to face it. And when you face it, you lose the ignorant. I'd rather you lose that bit of being ignorant and learn something. You know what I mean? So I, I'm all about that. I definitely like, agree with that. Like, well, what are some good examples? You know? <laughs> you know, like, you know what I mean? You're hanging out. You had a rough day, you know? What are some of the classics? You know, what smell like wet dogs, right? <laughs> you got I mean, or something like that, right? Just, just slip some of that shit in there. Get out of the pool. Wash your hair, motherfucker. Brian, just <laughs> make it seem a little more. <laughs> Dude, I'm just saying, it's all the way down to swimming. I mean, where the fuck do you go from there? We do like ping pong. <laughs> they were the first all black ping pong team. They're going to steal the paddles. Gentle. <laughs> 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 my daughter's not playing ping pong. <laughs> Go out there and show the white man your bed, ping pong. <laughs> it's true, though. No, I'm not, I'm not saying, uh, I don't know, it's always just weird bringing this shit up, but no, I'm not saying white people aren't evil either, because I know we're evil. I got that evil in me. I do, I can, so I can feel it. That's why I try to suppress it. <laughs> I try to dress casual, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm serious, man. I tried a suit on the other day. I felt it coming up. Like, do you feel like you got white evil in you? If you do, right, I do. If you don't, right, I don't. Give me an explanation why. Because I don't, I mean, white evil just sounds a little harsh, but I just want to know if it's something that you guys go through. Like, we're connected. Fuck, man. I want to take over some shit, right? <laughs> I want to start telling people what to do. I want to go blue the lake, blame it on my secretary, you know? Dude, I don't even like those movies when they make black and white people get along, man. Even those ones seem ridiculous, you know? Because there always has to be, like, some sort of lesson in those movies. Just like, yeah, uh, I never I looked those. at it that way. Yeah, I it's hate It's like that. that never happens, you know? Yeah. Anytime I've ever hung out with a black dude, at no point during the evening has he, like, tried to, like, teach me how to dance. You know? <laughs> you know that interracial footloose moment they always have to have in those movies? Interracial and footloose. And I never go to his neighborhood and, like, try to, like, save a school, you know? Oh, uh, nah, he's right. Thrilled. How many times are they going to make that movie? You know that movie? The white person goes into the projects. They just have to make a difference. Yeah, it's just like, you know, why he can't just... just that movie again with, uh, was why it? can't he just live there? Like, he don't got to go help all the black people and rescue all the Negroes out of the community. You know what I mean? Like, like, come on, stop. It's like, did you even need to go see it? 
It's yeah, like, you... let me guess. She shows up and they don't accept her. Exactly. Right? Exactly. And she goes home, she cries to her effeminate boyfriend who's yep. wearing sweatpants and he's cooking something for some reason, right? <laughs> And he convinces yep. her, he convinces her to yep. give her one more chance, right? Yeah. So then she goes back down there, she starts drawing out their inner beauty. Next thing you know, they put a do-rag on her, she starts fucking dancing. <laughs> and it's just embarrassing <laughs> for all races involved. For the love of God, stop making that fucking movie. Nah, they right. Yeah. Dude, the amount of times they made that movie, I would think I would know somebody white who actually did that shit, you know? Yeah. Just be like, ah, it's Mike. Yeah, he saves ghettos. That's what he does, you know? <laughs> I sit around and watch Sports Center. You know, he's in the projects every weekend. He's writing his name on the blackboard. My name's Mr. Michael. All right, who threw that? <laughs> who threw that? It's just annoying after a while, you know? And it always fucking works out, too. Anytime the white person goes down there, I want to make that, I want to see a movie where it doesn't work out. Like the white dude goes down there the first day, just gets the shit kicked out of him. You know? <laughs> just leaving all negative. You can't fucking help these people, you know? You go down there, you try to do something nice, I couldn't get a goddamn word in. It's a three and all prescription. <laughs> you know what I love about this actual one from uh, Bill Burr is the fact that, you know, in all reality, this is what people think about. Uh, I think that culture, like even my channel, my channel is all about me learning new things. And I just think that sometimes you'll close your mind to things because it's ignorant. And I'm I'm a victim of being ignorant. If you are right, ignorant in the comments, because we've all have been. But finding out the knowledge is really the goal, you know, and actually taking out the time to actually learn these different things that you didn't expose yourself to. And that's kind of what I'm doing right now with Bill Burr. And what I'm learning from Bill Burr is Bill Burr is just like me in the other situation. Like, you know, when he did the Harlem and he went to Harlem, and this is an experience for him. I'm from the East Coast. This is nothing for me, but I don't put myself in the other side to go, damn, well, how does a person feel being there first? That's what I love about a guy like Bill Burr, man. He can tell you a story that make everybody kind of relate to each other, and that's the whole beauty about comedy. Comedy is about bringing people together and letting them block out all the negative things that might go on in a day or a week. All right? I want to thank you guys for enjoying this reaction with me. If you guys have any suggestions, drop them in the comments. And uh, I'm at 41,000. Let's get this channel to a million. I'll see you on the next one.